This is a video for people who hear voices more than for the normal tinnitus community. Um, I wanted to put this in with the tinnitus channel because I think it is very well placed in a similar framework to tinnitus. When we get um, very activated or under a lot of stress, our hearing changes dramatically and it listens out for danger. So if there's a lion there, we are automatically programmed to flood with adrenaline and to listen out for any noise anywhere and you end up being so charged up that your hearing becomes super alerted. With tinnitus, you end up hearing the buzz of the nervous system. So a lot of the work is to calm the nervous system down to help the tinnitus back off. But please remember that the hearing experience it's converting physical sound into nervous impulses that then get interpreted by the aud auditory cortex. This is the imaginary part of the brain that understands and makes sense of these nervous impulses that tell us that something is a voice or a note on a piano or a sound of a plane in the sky. When we're very activated, this imaginary cortex, the auditory cortex, gets super activated as well. So we can hear music and we can get earworms that go round and round. You keep on hearing the music playing inside your head over and over and over again, like that Carol King song. And I can remember once when I was very stressed out and I had very bad tinnitus, I heard somebody's doorbell ring, ding dong. And it kind of resounded in my head and I kept on hearing it for days after the actual experience of the doorbell. And this is the information going into my brain, my brain making sense of it and then still being activated. And when we're very stressed, of course, we can hear the chatter of the mind. It's very common for people to hear their thinking and you can remember arguments, you can hear other people's voices. And if we go into extreme stress, where we, we become very overwhelmed, we freeze and we freak out, and then we can space out, very high fear levels can actually cause the, the, the voices and the memory of voices, people's voices, verbal experiences to become incredibly activated so we end up hearing the voices we hear our thinking as if they were voices and in that state we can be incredibly split off from our experiences so we literally believe that it's somebody else speaking to us or you could easily put it on to spirits speaking to us or dead people speaking to us in very acute states of stress, our auditory imagination can be very powerful and seem very, very real. And it can have quite a huge impact on the nervous system. So for hearing voices, in some ways, it's very similar. Um, with the, the way to help this is, is similar to, to tinnitus in a way. <clears throat> if you can feel safe and settle and really calm down and come out of this fearful state of activation or fight or flight, what happens is that the activation in the imaginary, the auditory cortex settles and calms down. So rather than hearing voices, you start to just think and notice the thinking mind. And if you can't, which is completely normal for most, <clears throat> most people, um, we all experience that. And if you can calm down even further, then eventually the chit chat of the, of the mind can go calm and clear. So you're just seeing what you see, you just hear what you hear, and you're just sitting on the chair, experiencing whatever's going on in the present moment. So when we're stressed, the mind really twitters. When we're acutely stressed, you can hear voices. When you're really calm and settled, the twitter stops, 
and you're just clear and present.